hey guys welcome back to my channel it is Nello here as always and yeah um, welcome back to another video I just realized that throughout this my pregnancy I've actually never sat down to do a pregnancy update or just a video solely about my pregnancy which is weird to be honest because everything I surrounding my life now or everything in my life now is surrounded around this pregnancy and today i just wanted to sit down and do probably the one and only video i'm going to dedicate fully to this pregnancy okay so i'm going to be just updating you guys on how i'm feeling the baby you know delivery updates travel updates and a bunch of things and even some random questions i got online i'm just going to address in this video so if you want to hear all about baby or okay, cake okay, then just make sure to keep watching okay guys so first thing first how many months pregnant are you as of the day i am filming this video i am 32 weeks pregnant okay like it's time is passing like i normally have my kids at 37 weeks so i basically have five weeks left right yeah i basically have five weeks left because with my two pregnancies i entered labor at 37 weeks so i feel like it's going to be the same with this pregnancy but anyways moving on to the next question because this leads to the next question my delivery plan my delivery plan is to you know have my baby through um cs because you know i complain about my keloid is so painful my keloid actually started bleeding like some weeks back i wish i could show you guys a picture but sadly i can't demonetize it's just going to be all over <laughs> my video but um yeah i it started bleeding and um it's a lo it's just so painful the bleeding stopped i asked my doctor she doesn't even know why that happened because it's not it's very unusual i really still don't know why it happened but everything is fine now just that it's very very painful now and you know as Sometimes the pressure of the baby, when the baby's head is down or something, but whatever, whichever part, it just pains me so much. Actually, when I, you know, sit down, when I lie down, it's better because I'm not like squishing that part. But yeah, I have to do CS to cut that out. And also just because I really prefer the CS bed experience, okay? I'm not about to push anything out of my vagina anytime soon, ever again, ever, ever, ever again. So yeah that's that's my birth plan my travel plan which a lot of people have been asking me because in case you're new to this channel i have two boys already kobe and kaito four years and almost two years kobe is four years kaito is almost two years that will be two years in three months time right so basically um yeah i had two of them in america okay i had my two kids in in the u.s and because of that a lot of people just assume that i'm going to be having this baby in the u.s which i tried actually i tried to get a u.s visa but if you know anything happening in nigeria now you know that u.s visa is is is, is hot cake okay the way they are kicking nigerians out and just rejecting nigerians up and down is ridiculous considering that we're going to their country to pump in a whole lot of money pay ridiculous amount of money you know to have kids in these countries but that's fine that's okay it's not by force um um yeah so i didn't get my u.s visa and you know i get people were asking me were telling me try this country try this country try. i have friends that are not even sleeping at night because i'm saying i want to have my baby in nigeria <laughs> i don't know why is i feel like in my case yeah it's not like having your baby in nigeria there's anything wrong with it i was born in nigeria clearly duh let's get that out of the way before some people will come and say what's wrong with having your baby in nigeria we know there's nothing wrong with it but the thing is because i have my two i had my two kids you know abroad or because my two kids are like you know dual citizens dual citizens of two different countries it would just be fair to also give my daughter the chance to you know be a dual citizen of <laughs> two different countries as well if you get what i mean but that being said i just really want to experience the the nigerian birth experience okay I know a lot of people don't have pleasant stories to tell about having your, your baby in Nigeria. But I just really want to experience it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I want to be able to have my kid, have my baby. My kids will come to the hospital. My mom will come. I'll come back home in two days. When my mom has cooked better food and I'll eat. And, you know, my family, they're all around. My sisters, in-laws, whoever wants to come. And we're just gisting and laughing. And I don't know. I just want that family feel. That's... Ugh. 
having support few you know because the thing with having your kids abroad is you really don't have the kind of support you will get if you have your kids in Nigeria okay you just don't have that when I had my first I was in my sister's house quite alright my sister was there but it still wasn't the same of having having your baby in Nigeria. My sister was there, my mom was there. When when I had Kaito, my, my mom was my mom is always there. I can't have a, a child without my mom being present. I'm just so lucky that I still have my mom. So when I had Kaito, my mom was there as well with my brother in law and just some people. So it, it wasn't so bad, but it, you can't compare to the feeling of of having a baby in Nigeria, I know you can't compare it to that feeling. And I just really want to experience that. I don't know, my mind is just not in traveling but i am married to a man that is a very determined man okay francis is the perfect francis can be sleeping at night you just stand up check god no no my daughter my daughter Nello, you have to travel i'm just like what's all this is she not my daughter too <laughs> she's my daughter as well so now it seems like i'm not giving her the same opportunity i gave the boys you know and it's making me feel bad to an extent let me not lie it's making me feel bad but at the same time, I just don't know. So as of the moment I'm filming this video, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yes, we have secured visa to, you know, some other countries that, you know, the child will get birth right citizenship. It's not America, it's not Canada. No, it's not any of those two countries. But there are some other countries too, where like the child can at least have opportunities to live in other countries if she chooses to or go to school in other countries or just really not look for visa if she wants to travel to other countries or if she needs any medical attention she doesn't have to start looking for visa there are just some you know benefits to having your kids abroad sometimes you know but as of this moment i'm not sure yet that's why i'm not saying the country or saying anything i'm sorry if you guys are hearing that noise my window is open but yeah that's no one that's why I'm not seeing the country or seeing anything because I don't have a ticket now I don't know if I'm going to be traveling or not but um, whatever happens you know you guys will get to find out eventually and I'll try and keep you guys updated on my travel plans but for now to be honest I'm not sure Francis is even offering to bribe me with a whole lot of money a whole lot of money I might say but I don't know I just I just don't know I like money so I might give in at the end of the day but We'll see how that goes also if i'll be having my baby in nigeria i already have a date picked for my cs yes with my doctor and i don't know i'm just so excited about that it's ex like it's exciting me because um it's very very close it's very close i i don't know i i'm not gonna tell you guys the date because i know on that day jesus the messages be too much but it's very very soon um it's within it's between four to five weeks so that's that's all i can say so um are we five to six weeks five to six weeks i'm sorry between five to six weeks i, I, I don't even know at this point but i've picked a date for my cs and it's it's i don't know i'm just happy about that because i can literally see the end of this pregnancy like i can see you know from my last scan everything was fine you know baby's measuring okay like her head was measuring I was even 30 weeks when I did my last scan, but her head was measuring almost 35 weeks, which is a bit scary, but not too scary because I'm not going to be pushing her out of my vagina, okay? I'm going to literally bring her out from my tummy, so so that's okay. I remember Kobe's head was measuring that big, and Kobe had really, really big head that they had to really tear me to, to deliver him. But anyways, <laughs> TMI. But yeah, she's fine. Measurements, everything is okay. She's kicking well. Even though I feel like I don't feel her kicks as much as I felt Kobe and Kaito. I just feel like maybe because she's a girl, you know, her kicks are not um, as strong. But when I told my doctor, my doctor was like, wow, even looking at the scan, the way she's moving, her kicks feel or look very strong to her. So I shouldn't worry about it. I'm not even worried. I'm just saying. It's just something I observed because at this point with Kobe and Kaito, I'll be looking at my tummy and you can literally see the baby move in different directions. Now, I feel it, but it's not as um, intensified as it was with my boys. Okay. Then moving on to, I think that's basically okay okay the last thing about the last thing is that um about my personal update is that i've been having a whole lot of heartburn oh, it's so ridiculous heartburn tummy ache pressure braxton hicks contraction god i can't deal like it's so so it's 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 so uncomfortable i don't call it very painful but it's just so uncomfortable the most uncomfortable thing is the is the heartburn you just feel like there's food or a stone here that can't go down that is trying to come back up and then the feeling it has like a bunny slash painy sensation it's a horrible thing to feel and i hate it so much so those are my biggest issues now apart from that 
every other thing is fine to be honest i get tired so quick like so quick i walk from here to here i'm just like <sighs> <laughs> Most times when I go away at this day, I'm just like, I can't wait, I didn't wait, I have to rest. I'll sit down on the floor, I start resting, I don't care. Sometimes I, I even lie down on the floor, to be honest. At this point, I just look where to rest my back and just rest. Get my breath back, get myself back, then we continue. I didn't say, you have been so patient with me. I know it must have been very frustrating and annoying all the times I've wanted to sit down and rest. And she has never complained. You're actually an amazing person. So thank you for, for dealing with all this. But don't worry, it will soon come to an end, okay? So yeah, some of the questions here. What are the best, the best and worst parts of being pregnant? Best part of being pregnant in Nigeria, I don't think there's a lot of best part of being pregnant, to be honest. It's not like people treat you like you're pregnant. You're standing in a queue and <laughs> they don't care. There's nothing like, oh, come, let's attend to you. You're pregnant first. Not a lot of places. Even in the bank one day, I, I was so tired. I, I, rest, like, I squatted on the floor, sat down on the floor to rest as I was in the queue. Nobody, I don't even know what came into the bank. That it had to do with check because I never entered the bank. I think I had to pay in a check or something. I had to pay in a check. I think that was it, yeah. Nobody cared. I stood on that queue like <sighs> ridiculous. This country, you don't care that you're pregnant, okay? The when they will see you, everyone just turn face, turn face like this so that it will be like they did not see you, so they don't have to give up something for you. So do I have names picked out for the baby? Yes, if you're an OD on this channel, you already know that my baby's name is Adana Eva Okay, okay. I'll put it on the screen. Her name is Adana. I like I refer to Hannah as Adana all the time. Even people, my friends, everyone, even when you guys message me on Instagram and places, you guys always say, Oh, how is Adana? And yeah, her name is Adana. Her dad named her Adana. I named her Eva, which was like we've had this name for over two years because this when we thought Kaito was going to be a girl, yeah, this was supposed to be Kaito's name, Adana Eva. Okay, okay. So we just continued. So there was no name search this time around. We've always known that our daughter will be called Adana Eva. Okay, okay. Who will be with you during labor? So if I'm traveling, I'm traveling with my husband, maybe my mom, I'm not sure yet. Um, because there are two countries we are considering. If it's the first country, then she can't go with us because we didn't apply for visa for her. But if it's the second one, then she's going to come with me. So it will be well. Yeah. But anyways, my husband is going to be with me in the delivery room. So even if my mom comes with us, um, she's still not going to be able to enter the delivery room. I think it's just your husband that is allowed to enter. Because I'm doing theater, so it's going to be a theater, not even a delivery room. So yes, my husband is going to be with me. And even if I'm having my baby here in Nigeria, my husband is going to be with me as well. Francis said he cannot miss the birth of his daughter. Like, Francis is so obsessed with having a daughter, you guys. It's almost like he's not an evil man. But yeah like he's just so upset he wasn't this obsessed about kobe and kaito which is i don't know it's not like it's surprising but it's just like he has always always wanted a daughter and i don't know how he would have felt if he never got the opportunity to father a daughter so i'm just so happy that i'm blessed that i'm able to have a girl you know because i've always also wanted a girl so yes i'm deviating francis is going to be with me in the delivery room um, will you record your labor i plan to i mean francis is more of a youtuber than i am let me just tell you guys francis is is the behind the scenes guy okay so i'm probably going to be in labor going through my operation and all that but francis i trust him to handle the cameras so he's going to film everything hopefully for you guys i plan to actually film you know my birth this time around i plan to do it with kaito but i wasn't able to do it because i was just crying and angry and sad because i had to do emergency c-section but now that i know what i'm getting into france will be there to film every single thing it might be a little bit bloody for you guys but i'll try and censor it as much as i can but yeah france is gonna be filming it for you guys <laughs> natural or medicated birth definitely medicated i'm not a natural birth kind of person i don't want to be i never ever ever want to be in my life even when i had natural birth um I took epidural which is what people consider medicated birth like we're not all giving birth no matter how no matter whether you take medicine or not anyways yeah I'm, I, I hate pain so I always go for medicated birth but this time around I don't even have a choice because with CS is it has to be medicated are you scared about labor nope 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 because I'll most likely do elective CS I might not even wait to enter labor to to do my CS so yeah what do you look forward to most? What do you what do you most what do you most look forward to after pregnancy? This English, I don't know, it sounds somehow to me. But anyways, um I look forward to 
being able to lie on my tummy, which doesn't happen till after a few weeks or months. So, but I look forward to being able to lie on my tummy. I look forward to stop chewing gum like a goat all the time. You guys. I have gum right now in my mouth i always have gum i look forward to enjoying food the way i used to and uh, even though I'm, I'm going to have to get francis calling me yep you're in my video <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying. Francis just called me. He left us again today. Um, he has gone, traveled as always. He walks. Sometimes he walks in Pataka, sometimes he doesn't. So, um, um, yeah, but this is his last placement for the year. He has been actually working a lot because he wants to be there for the delivery. And if he if he doesn't do all this now then he will have to work later on but this is going to be his last he's coming back in two weeks time and then he's going to be free till january so that's amazing that's why he's going to be able to travel with me or stay with me no matter what and yeah it's just it's just good so he's going to be free for two full months so his paternity leave is going to be for two months basically but yeah um will you breastfeed um i plan to breastfeed but I'm, i don't plan to do exclusive okay i plan to breastfeed but my breastfeeding is more like mm, i don't know how to put it it's just because yeah let the baby just get the feel of breastfeeding because to me i can do formula alone and happily but yeah i normally mix it and by mixing i mean formula 70 or 80 percent breastfeeding 20 percent i'm not even going to lie and say 50 50 or not. no formula most of the time breastfeeding it for me is mostly just because my boobs get engorged and there's milk in there so i need the baby to just relieve me for the first few weeks before i i stop breastfeeding yeah it's a personal choice there's no shame in that i don't particularly enjoy breastfeeding so i'm going to breastfeed just for breastfeeding sake i guess do you plan to go back to work immediately after having a baby um well yeah the good thing about my job is i can literally carry my baby and i'm sitting down here filming and doing things so yeah as soon as i get back myself i guess i'll start filming videos again and start working again i actually can't wait for my face to go back you know to start losing weight again and just to go back to my regular life and i'm excited about the content that will come with the new baby as well and the experience of having a daughter is going to be so different from my two boys so yeah i look forward to actually filming again and going back to work after i have a baby so yes that brings us to the end of this update um i hope i touched on everything i think i did um there's really not much going on maybe that's why i've never done this update before but yeah that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this video and i know a lot of you are actually pregnant at the same time with me so let me know how your pregnancy is going in the description some of you send me a lot of dms and stuff I actually appreciate those messages so yeah keep them coming um hope you guys are all doing well so thank you guys for watching um don't forget to subscribe like comment and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next one okay